Okay, Scouts, so um, I'm also going to go over a what's called an AED, uh, which is basically like a defibrillator for the heart, which provides electricity to the heart if it stopped beating. Um, so we use these when you're doing CPR, um, and you do CPR if their heart's not beating. So we can do compressions as much as we can. It definitely, definitely helps. It has been proven uh, that that is um, one of the biggest factors on whether a person makes it or not is if someone's doing quality CPR um, before um, medical help arrives. Um, but ultimately, the heart needs more than that to start beating on its own, um, which is electricity. So there are several different devices uh, out there. Um, they're all fairly expensive, but most public places have them now. So schools, churches, um, a lot of times even like parks, um, and just litany of other places have uh, an AED of some kind. So this is the one that's kind of our training device. They all kind of look something like this. They're usually square. Um, uh, the idea is you basically plug it in, turn it on, and it tells you what to do so that you don't have to know anything. Um, so we'll go ahead and do that. So you plug this patch in. Analyzing rhythm. Everyone stand clear. Comes with these pads, by the way. And it tells you. Shock to put advised. It Charging. Everyone stand clear. Everyone stand clear. Shock delivered. Begin five cycles of CPR. Okay. So you're doing CPR. You get someone to come to you um, with an AED that they really get from the office or wherever you got it tells you where to put the pads on the body got to take the shirt up uh, can't go over clothes anything like that's got to be directly on the skin the concept is you're um, putting the patches to go across um, for the heart for the heart to uh, receive the electricity One minute and 30 seconds of CPR remain so you plug it in you put the patches on and it tells you whether you should or shouldn't shock, which it doesn't always tell you. It depends on what sort of electrical conduction your heart is already in. So if it tells you, it'll say, um, shock advised, everyone stand clear, uh, so which means nobody touch the person. Um, you hit the shock button, and then it'll start CPR again. Um, regardless if the shock works or not, you're going to start CPR One again. One minute of CPR remains. And um, you'll continue doing CPR. This is just kind of helping the heart kind of get back to um, what it needs to be doing. Even if the electrical shock does work and does start the heart uh, beating on its own again, you're just kind of helping out um, for a little while. The whole time it's still analyzing. It's still checking. Um, it's nice, as you can hear, it's giving you a timer of how long you're going to do CPR, which is every two minutes. And um, as it winds down, it comes down. 30 seconds of CPR remain. This is incredibly exhausting. Actually doing CPR is very tiring. Doesn't matter how good a shape you're in. It's hard to do. Um, your adrenaline's going like crazy because um, what the significance is of it, that you, you are trying to help somebody that's dying or dead, um, is, is very exhausting work. So you're doing these compressions, um, and after two minutes, you have to switch out. It's if you have two people, you need to have a second. Analyzing person. rhythm. Everyone stand clear. So it tells you everybody stop stop doing compressions. You're going to check the electrical conductivity of the heart. No shock advised. Begin five cycles of CPR. And there you go. Analyzing rhythm. Everyone stand clear. I'm just trying to turn it off now. Plug in connector. So um, that's the concept of an AED. They all work very similarly, even if they look a little different. The concept is the same. Um, it's plug it in. They all have a picture of where to put each pad. And then it does the work for you. Now, you still have to do the compression part of it, um, but it'll tell you to do that or to not do that. Um, so it's, it's really supposed to be a very simple, easy for anyone to understand kind of idea. Um, this isn't something that you guys normally have access to. Um, so for this requirement, I'm not going to have you um, kind of go over it. What I would say is when you guys do go out, um, you know, once we get back in the school, 
once uh, you guys are allowed to go to to church or to the grocery store, you know, whatever the case may be. Look around and see. You'll see them uh, hanging on a wall or you'll see them somewhat accessible a lot of times um, because you want them accessible when you need it. You don't want to have to have somebody try to dig it out of a cabinet or something like that. So they're usually mounted on a wall just right here for everybody to see. So I encourage you just to kind of look around and see if you can note where they are um, just at places around you. So let me know when you've watched this video um, and let me know if you have any questions about it and then I'll sign off on this requirement for you.